Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and I am back today for Fashion Friday and joining me is my beautiful Toby. This is my full body silicone baby. Um, he is the brother to Heavenly, which they're all brothers and sisters. I just mean it's the same sculpt, but this is a boy um, and uh, she's a little girl and they are atomically correct because they are full body silicones. And I don't have them as twins. That's why I did him as a little blondie. I did all of his art. His rooting, his hair looks messy right now because <laughs> it's been a while since we combed that hair. But um, he's got beautiful white blonde hair, beautiful blue eyes where she's got the dark uh, hair and the dark eyes. So um, they weren't supposed to be as twins. I just completely made you know both of them different. She's more Italian looking with that deeper skin and he's a more um, the peaches and cream. Um, you know, a lighter baby, but uh, just a, such a joy. And he's so interested in that ring light. These babies are so interested in that ring light. He just is staring at that. He's just glued to it. <laughs> he's not even moving. He's just glued to it. He always is. He's always a baby that's interested in things too, just like Colton. He's a very interested baby and he loves to look at things. He loves when mommy talks. He loves to listen to TV, uh, any kind of music. He just enjoys all of that. But we've already done a spot like on you, buddy. So we're going to go ahead and change Toby today in a cute little fall outfit as he's still wearing more summer here. Uh, get him in a um, fall outfit. But as always, we're going to start with God and read our devotional today, our Billy Graham Wisdom for Each Day. Today is Friday the 27th. I hope you guys are going to have a nice weekend uh, getting ready to, you know, when you see this video, um, hopefully you're off of work or getting ready to get off of work and have a nice weekend. This one is called um, Loving with God's Love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 5. And it goes on to say, I can't live with him, but I can't seem to live without him either. Her letter said, she added that she had moved out of their house three times, but still kept coming back. With minor variations, her story could be repeated thousands of times every day. Each marriage is different, and we mustn't oversimplify or overlook the uniqueness of every single relationship. But what is the problem? Why can't spouses seem to get along? Let me answer by asking another question. What is the opposite of love? It isn't hate, although it may take that form. The opposite of love is selfishness. When a husband and wife are concerned only about their own individual desires, the stage is set for conflict. The Bible gives us another way, the way of Christ, true love. It says it's self-giving, not self-seeking. True love puts the needs of others first. This is what Christ did when he left heaven's glory, heaven's glory and came down to earth for us. Begin a, new page, begin a new page in your marriage by asking Christ to become the center of your life and your marriage. I love this, you guys. I really do because there is no perfect marriage. I don't care who you are. You will never have a perfect marriage. If you're looking for that and you're not finding it, well, I'm sorry, it's, it doesn't exist. We all come with baggage. We all have our own faults and, you know, our own things that we do. But it's important, like it's saying here in his, um, you know, in this devotional, it's saying here how we can put our, you know, our needs above others. We definitely can. So above our mates, we definitely can do that and our own heart's desires. And we, and, you know, we seek that out more than we do our relationship we're with. And we, we need to focus more on loving that person we're with, loving your husband, loving your husband, loving the wife. You know, I mean, it does say in the Bible that the husband is to love the wife like he loves the church. The wife is supposed to honor and obey her husband. And, you know, you're supposed to love, honor, and cherish each other. That's what you're supposed to do. And put your, you know, your desires on the back burner. You know, put the desires of the person you love first. Make that number one. You know, and that's what's going to have a good marriage. But no marriage is ever going to be perfect. So don't think that that's that's a fairy tale it doesn't even exist when you see cinderella or you see these 
stories and all that, you think, oh, that's that's the kind of marriage I want, and that's the kind of marriage I'm seeking for, and that's what I'm going to get. You'll never get that. There's no, it's fairy tale. Okay, every marriage has problems. There's, you know, financial problems and, you know, problems of, you know, just what we do in our everyday life and just work and, you know, and stress and kids and just, you know, everything. So you're not going to have a perfect marriage. There's going to be fights and arguments, but let's try our best to love our spouses, to love them, you know, as Christ loves the church, as Christ loves us. He left those beautiful heavenly gates to come here to the sin infested world because he loved us so much. So he put his desires on hold for us. He wasn't thinking about himself. He was thinking about all of us where John 3 16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So he was putting everything on hold for us because he loves us. It said, for God so loved the world. He loved us all. So he left that beautiful heaven and came here to the sin infested world, walked it as a human form, a man. He was a hundred percent man and died on a cross for us. What an act of kindness and love. It's the least we can do in our marriage to be loving to our spouse. Are we going to have down days? Absolutely. We're human. We all live in glass houses. So none of us should throw stones or judge anybody and say, well, I'm better in this marriage than you are. You know, you don't care about me. Sure, there are times that you're going to fight and argue and that's going to, it's going to feel that way to you, you know, but just remember when you are in times like that, you have to really let go and let God. And it can be very hard to do that because that anger steers up. But it says in the Bible, be slow to speak, slow to anger. Um, that's a problem I have. I'm very quick to anger and I need to be more um, softer with my anger, you know, and and um, just more understanding. Um, but I know that I am not perfect. My husband is not perfect, but he is perfect for me. I love him in every way, shape or form. And I want nothing more than my marriage to, to you know, to be forever. That's what marriage is, is forever. So I will work at the hard times just like he has worked at the hard times. We both do together. And that's what makes a good marriage. But you'll never have a perfect marriage. So if you're searching for that, well, you might as well just close your eyes and dream about it because that's a fairy tale. It doesn't exist. It does not exist. But we can strive with God's, it says right here, loving with God's love. We can strive for that love that God has for us to love our spouses the way they need to be loved and watch and return like with God. The more you love God, the more God turns around or the more you spend time with him, the more he will draw near to you. So the more you're loving your spouse, the more your spouse will be loving to you. You know, and that's what you need to do. You really do. And, and both of you together should be reading the Bible and honoring God together. We should be starting the day together as a husband and wife. That's what you need to do. And that's what makes for a good marriage. But you'll never have a perfect marriage. So, yeah, like I said, that's a fairy tale. It doesn't exist. But we can learn to love like God's love. And that's what we need to do. Our wisdom for today. What would change in our marriage if we truly made Christ the center of our relationship? Like I was just saying, you guys. Making Christ the center of our relationship. That's what we need. We need Christ right in the midst of it. What attitude would change? What offers would be overlooked? Do a mighty work in our homes, Lord. Boy, that is some great wisdom. And I do pray for that all the time. For God to do a work in our home so our marriage can be good. We have our ups. We have our downs. But I'm very grateful. I've been married to my husband for 12 years. And we've had rough times. We've had good times. And um, I love him with everything in me. And that's what I do pray for all the time is for God to be the center of our marriage and to continue to help our marriage to grow. And that's what we need to do together as a husband and wife. So it's important. I hope that this touched a heart out there. Definitely was something was great for me to hear. I hope it touched your heart. So remember that one on loving with God's love. Remember to love with God's love in your marriage and don't expect a perfect marriage because it doesn't exist. <laughs> Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with life's manual. Enjoying that with your husband or your wife. Enjoying that with him and making God the center and making sure to read, honor, obey, and live by God's word. You know, and asking God every day in any situation such as what we talked about today, marriage, asking God to bless your marriage and to help you through the tough times and to help you to love like God loves us. That's so important. But pick it up, you guys. Read this. You're going to love it. This is God's love story to us. Let's read it because it's amazing what he did for us. So let's do in honor for him what he does for us and read his word and get close to God. All right, you guys. So now beautiful Toby, who loves God too, is going to get changed. And I want to put him in this really cute outfit, you guys. Let me show you this. I got this in one of my... Um, Boxings. I don't even remember what boxing I got it with, but I love this. I love this little outfit. It is so soft. It is a gray um, onesie, but it's feetless. 
and it, it's got teddy bears all over it. Would have been perfect for teddy bear week with um, Suzanne. I forgot about this outfit. It would have looked cute, but the outfit I wore was, or put on my baby was a teddy bear outfit. But anyways, we're doing this one on Toby. Like I said, it's all gray. It's a beautiful heather gray. And it's got just bears everywhere in that brown. They're cute little faces with the brown, little black eyes, a little white mouth, and the little black trim. Just adorable. Just one little piece that snaps in the crotch, um, just goes over the head, nice and stretchy, really beautiful. This is a, a zero to one month, so it'll fit him perfectly. But isn't this going to be cute, you guys, on my, my bear here? All my boys are my bears. All right. And then I'm going to do a hat. I don't normally do... I, too many hats on my babies with hair, but I want to do a hat today. We're going to comb his hair, though. It needs to be combed. So I'm going to put this beautiful um, kind of crocheted or sweater type, or what do you call that? Um, I forget the name. I'll throw it up on the screen. I always forget that. <laughs> it buttons here on the side, but it's just a gray um, hat, and I thought that would be cute on him. It's a little bit big, but it's cute, so that's gray. And then we're going to do the little gray socks. And these little booties, and they got bears on them too, but the bears are gray and brown. So it'll be perfect. It'll all match perfectly. And that's going to be his outfit for today. And then, of course, the nook, because he is a nook baby. And look at that match is so good, that nook. It matches perfect with it. So let's get you changed, buddy. You ready to get changed? Yeah, you staring at that light? Mwah. Mommy loves you so much. Mwah. He's got rooted blonde um, eyebrows. He's got the rooted hair. Like I said, I did all of his art and his painting. Was one of the ones in the very beginning. He's over a year old of painting. He's not losing any of his seal, any of his paint. No chipping, no peeling. I use expensive paints, you guys. I'm telling you, uh, you need a baby painted or you want to get a baby through me, definitely you're going to get a baby that's not going to have those shiny spots, not going to have problems with needing powdering. The paint job's going to hold. I use Fuse FX silicone paints. I use uh, the Fuse FX uh, to seal and the silicone velvet. And so, yeah, this baby's get sealed really good and very expensive products that I use. But yeah, he's still perfect after over a year. We're going to take his little prop bottle, his Tommy Tippy. It's just a, a fake little prop here. We'll set it over here. Can we have your little monkey? Yeah, because you're a monkey. Yeah, you're a monkey. Yeah, you are just staring at that light. Can I give you kisses, though? Because I can't stop kissing you. We'll put your little monkey up here. How about that? Does it stay? Does everybody can kind of see it still? Yep. And your other nook, this is the nook that he had. We'll put that over here and we'll start changing him. How's everybody doing? I welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you enjoy my channel and all my old subscribers. Thank you so much for returning and watching my videos. If you have any suggestions, I know I had somebody suggest outings with the babies. I used to do that um, a little bit. On um, when I first got him, when I didn't even have a channel, I did some outings, um, especially when Jaden was here. We did, or no, when Jaden left, that's right. Um, but anyways, I will, I will consider that. But we are getting cold here in Minnesota, so not sure. Um, look at these long socks he had on, so cute. Um, not sure if I'll be able to do too many outings. Um, you know, being the winter, you gotta really bundle them up. But I will. I'll try to include some outings. That was a great suggestion. Um, I'd like to get back to bathing videos. I know I've been kind of doing the same thing over and over, just changing a baby and reading the scriptures. But I'd like to do a little bit more with you guys. So yeah, we're gonna leave the onesie on him. Yes, we're gonna leave this on you because it's cold, buddy. Yeah, say we're gonna be dropping you guys. We were in the 60s the last few days, and believe it or not, I don't know if we're getting a cold front or what. But this is awfully early, and it's sad. Because the kids for Halloween around here are going to be in the 30s during the day and 20s at night. That's like winter weather here, you guys. Um, you know, part of our winter, of course, we get way colder than that in Minnesota. I mean, we get minus in Minnesota. But I just mean for um, Halloween, I'm just so sad that the kids are going to be going out and it's going to be chilly for them. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully they have nice costumes to keep them warm. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, it's it's getting cold, so... Um, if I do outings, they'll have to be bundled up, but I'll try to do that. I'll try to do some bathing videos. Um, if you have any other suggestions, go ahead and suggest it uh, to me, and I'll see what I can do. Um, it's just, I'm always so busy, you know. I mean, I'm, I don't just share my own babies, you guys. I am also running a business, you know, painting babies, selling babies. I'm also doing all that, so I get, you know, pretty busy. Um, but those that work hard, they prosper. It says it right in Proverbs. So I've been working hard at my business and all of that. So yeah, I just, I will do what I can here to try to change it up just a little bit. So it's not just changing babies and it's, you know, not the same uh, routine over and over and over, just repetitive. I'll try to do some new things, but if you have any suggestions, please suggest them to me down in the comment section. I would appreciate that. And I will consider, um, you know, 
the suggestions to see if I can do that. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys are going to have a nice weekend. It's Friday. Enjoy the weekend. I know um, my husband and I will watch a movie tonight. Friday night we'll watch a movie. So, yeah, that will be fun. And not sure what we're going to do this weekend because it's going to be cold. Darn it, darn it, darn it. <laughs> I hate the cold. I hate the hate the cold. Minnesota is known for its cold weather, and I can't stand it. But I am born and raised in Minnesota, so it's not like I don't know that the cold comes. It's just it's like our longest season, and uh, it just kind of stinks. But that's okay. Um, you know, it's still beautiful, and we get through it. You know, we always say we're never going to get through it, and we get through it. We think, oh, my gosh, is this winter ever going to end? And it ends. And then we get our beautiful spring and our beautiful summer. And, yeah, just keeps going, right? Just like everything, time does not stop. It just keeps going. And it gets goes faster as you get older, doesn't it? Boy, it sure does. Oh, does he ever look cute in that? Look at him. Toby, you are adorable in this. Let's put your little booties on. And then we're going to go ahead and comb your hair and put your hat on. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, my goodness. These booties look cute. Yes, they look cute with this outfit. This is a really cute outfit. I don't remember who even gave me this. It was in one, one of my box openings, and I love it. Maybe it was Alyssa that gave this to me. I can't remember the one that I'm doing, Topanga. I, I can't remember, and if it wasn't, then it was in one of the ones from Reborns.com that I got it from, but I love it. It might have been a Reborns.com. That might have been where it was from. Alyssa, if it was from you, tell me. If not, then it was from Reborns.com. Yeah, look at him. Oh, my goodness. Let's comb that beautiful blonde hair of yours. Yeah, let's comb that hair. Let's tame it. Because it doesn't look very good right now. No. No, it's all messy, boy. Yeah, that's just water, you guys, that I'm just using just to comb his beautiful hair. And hopefully you guys are seeing me comb it. Oh, yeah, you are. Okay, good. He's got thicker hair to the middle. I did it so he could have kind of that, that uh, um, mo you know, that mohawk in the middle. And so sometimes I'll do it in the middle. Sometimes I just comb it over to the side. Right now, because he's going to wear a hat, we're just going to, you know, Comb it down here. I'm just kind of messing with it just to get those little snarlies out. I probably should have grabbed a little toothbrush instead, but it's working. Oh, there we go. That worked. Okay. Yeah, so we just go opposite, Mommy. Just go opposite and then go back. Yeah, this beautiful blonde hair of yours. Gorgeous blonde hair. Like I said, very baby fine on the sides and the back, and then much thicker in the center. But it is, it's just hard to see. It's just wet right now, but it's very baby fine and very cute. There is hair there, just hard to see, <laughs> but it is there. If I get up a little closer, maybe you guys can see that. But it's just very baby fine, like on the back of his head. I don't even know if I'm showing it. Very baby fine back there. Yes, we love Toby's hair. Yes. Say, everybody loves Toby's hair. Everybody talks about Toby's hair. But look at how handsome he is. And then when I put the hat on, it'll hopefully keep his hair flat like that. So let's get your hat on. Uh-oh, say, I can't see mommy. I can't see mommy. Yeah, let's keep it like that. Oh, my goodness, little boy. This hat's too big on you. But it is cute, and I don't care. I love it. Yes, I love it. I love it on you. Oh, my goodness. Let's turn you a little bit more this way so everybody can see you, cutiness. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Is this adorable on him, you guys? He's going to be fun to snuggle because every time I do a baby, um, we uh, end up, uh, that's the baby that comes to bed with me. Yeah. That's the baby that comes to bed with me. Let's give you your monkey back. Put it over here on this side. Grab onto the blanket part. Sit him up. Aw, he looks adorable, you guys. Absolutely adorable. We'll give you a little nook in your hand. Yeah. Holy moly, little boy. Are you ever cute? Yeah, we'll do a feeding here in a little bit with you guys. I mean, with Toby. But anyways, there he is, you guys. Absolutely adorable in his bear outfit. So cute. We're going to kind of just cock his head to the side so you guys can see his beautiful face. Look at. Say hi, everybody. I got to kiss you one more time. Mwah. I'm a boy mom and I just love my boys. Love my girls too. Don't get me wrong. I love my girls too. But I'm a boy mom and I love this outfit. Isn't it cute? I'll get some really cute photographs of him in it. Uh, thank you whoever gave me this because I love it. It's very cute, very soft, very nice. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading today. Um, have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. Um, I will be doing... Um, I'm not sure because I think the rotation is done now with Toby. So I'll be starting over the rotation, um, but I will be getting um, Angel, um, Angelica in 
on, I believe, Sunday for Share a Daughter Sunday. I believe I'll get her in there and do a spotlight on her. But, yeah, we got to start over, you guys, starting over with the rotation. That ought to be fun. All right, let's let Toby give you guys a kiss. Mwah. Say, I love God, and I love Mommy so much. I'm a mama's boy, and I love Daddy, and I love uh, all my aunties, uncles, grandmas, and grandpas, and cousins out there. And I love you guys as well. Mwah. But remember who loves you the most, God. And just grow your love stronger for your spouse, you guys. It's important to work on that. So definitely uh, be asking God to come in and help you with your relationship and help you to be, you know, a loving person to your spouse and um, grow that love by adding God in the center of it. God needs to be in the center of your, your marriage. So make sure you put him there and don't expect... Um, a fairy tale uh, marriage because it doesn't exist. That's why it's called a fairy tale. All right, you guys, I love you very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And me and Toby will see you next time. Take care.